feel like I'm the DG side. So how were you getting these tracks with Pimp C? You know what I'm saying? What was it like working with Pimp C and you know the the other cats outside of town? Well, man, uh, you know, we I don't know always had that relationship with uh rap a lot, and uh, it was around the time um. Uh, they were uh, Pimp had just passed, and they were, uh, you know, kind of gathering up music for that um, the Naked Soul of Sweet James Jones. So, um, you know, uh, Big E was fucking with them already, cause they was uh, he was uh, working some shit with Damn D, and Big E had just did that Dougie B. So he kind of and uh, Red was International Red was managing them. Okay. So it was kind of, you know, through Big E and, you know, them niggas, you know, had heard of me here and there and, you know, and they liked, um, they liked the verse from the since the night. And so, well, you know, put them on this. So put them on that. I was Jay Prince directly saying, put them on this, put them on that, put them on that. So I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for Jay. I don't yeah. been able to sit down and have some. Because I always, I always heard times. you, I always say, you know, you know, yeah, I yeah, always yeah, know you yeah, had that rap a lot of Philly. You, yeah, yeah real, right, right. Jay. Already. So like, what was it like getting introduced to Jay? Well, he. Man, uh, you know, we went down there and uh, you know had a you know he requested a meeting, wanted to sit down and you know he was shit nervous, but that's a real nigga, you know. Right, so right. We sat down, man, and just really chopped it up, man. It was, it was, it was about music, it was about life, it was about everything. Right, right. So right. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was super humbling. Well, what kind of direction, did Jay Prince give give the Gator Man? Uh, I mean, it was it wasn't too much a direction. It was right. like through his stories and through his talks about his struggles right, and right. Um, you know, kind of coming early up, you know, trying to do his thing, and they was just you know right. getting game from him. Right. You know? So, so yeah, have you ever dropped a project through rap a lot of anything? No, or you no, just, no, no, whole but project. But you rap a lot of Phillies though. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, like that. Yeah, that's a text thing, right there. <laughs> yeah, that's text thing, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's text thing, right there. All right, nah, that's that's what's up. So, but now like it's more. um you know, with Beto, like you know, Kevin, okay. you know, Beto was uh, you know, he was he was everything the pimp, and you know, he was his right hand man, he was his protege, so you know, Beto doing his thing, so right. he uh, he got a check on the album and kept doing street shit, hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice, people always told me I wasn't gonna be shit, but I always knew that I would be.